Good morning. It is 7.37 a.m. on Tuesday, April 30th, 2019. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. So uh, today I managed to not sleep through my alarm, which, you know, is better, better than the alternative. I'm certainly still feeling pretty out of it, and I felt out of it pretty much all day yesterday. Definitely caught a little bit of something. Hopefully I won't, you know, succumb too deeply to it. It's one thing to just be a little bit sniffly for a couple of days. It's another thing to get, you know, like actually sick. But uh, as I suggested in my video yesterday, I did go ahead and just say, you know, call into work and just say, I'm not going to be able to accomplish anything today. But today I think I'm going to actually try to uh, drink a little caffeine, uh, you know, actually get to where I can accomplish something today. <laughs> That'll be good. Uh, we did record for Beyond the Wall last night, so there should be a new episode of that, uh, you know, in your feed soonish. Uh, or you can find the YouTube video already where we discussed the most recent episode of Game of Thrones, you know, the big battle sequence at Winterfell. So if you're interested in my feelings on that, uh, we talk about the episode at length in that show. So check that out. Um, and I'm now, we're now caught up again on talking about Survivor. Even though like scheduling for that this year has been just trouble, you know, with uh, what with all the travel and uh, just scheduling difficulties. But, you know, I'm, I'm getting to where I'm making plans for the next couple of months. And in particular, uh, Balticon's coming up uh, on Memorial Day weekend. And I have committed myself to a couple of things that seemed like a great idea and probably still are a good idea but I'm now in a position of like, okay, well now it's going to actually happen. So I actually have to, you know, do something. And that was giving me a little bit of anxiety last night. And I don't want to worry too much about really anything that my brain does right now or in the next, uh, for the next few days, partly just because I'm really still in kind of an altered head space as I readjust to the, the time zone. But uh, I also have, over the last couple of days, you know, let my apartment get pretty messy. So that I'm just sort of feeling cluttered. So what I really need to do is kind of, as I, as I get readjusted back to the time zone change, I need to sort of organize a little bit, set out some plans and get it done. Um, and all that's going to be fine. But it's just a matter of kind of understanding and accepting those emotions and being willing to, uh, you know, realize you, you can't just reason them away, but you can approach them and, you know, to work with them. You know, it's like uh, uh, with a, a frightened animal or something. You can't just yell at it to stop being scared of you, right? You know, it's like uh, even if you know it's not rational for the animal to be scared of you or well you know like you can it, it's like it's an emotional response you have to sort of be quiet and patient and uh you know offer that you know ex extended hand let them smell you get a little bit more used to you and so when you're having those you know anxiety reactions about something uh, you can't just tell yourself to stop you know I think that that sort of a mindset is actually I you know I don't want to I guess I don't want to make too many authoritative claims about things like panic attacks because I don't actually have panic attacks in the in that you know the actual medical sense. I certainly get anxiety sometimes, but uh, I guess what I was just going to say is that you can create a little bit of a mental feedback loop that way. You know, like if you're feeling anxious and you're just trying to tell yourself, stop it, stop feeling anxious, like that doesn't work. So all you can really do is kind of accept that feeling and try to 
move through it. And, uh, and so, you know, making plans and, uh, uh, those plans need to be put into effect. And so that's the, the, the plan is to put the plan into effect. Uh, and as my brain suddenly, you know, not suddenly, but gradually starts being awake in the daytime. And hopefully that'll all, uh, continue to become a little bit easier. And, uh, as I readjust and we'll make things happen. All right, so if that's enough vague booking for you, uh, I'll go ahead and leave it there, and I'll talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes. Oh, oh, last but not least, I think I'm planning this evening to do another installment of what I'm thinking might just go ahead and become like kind of a series for me, which is Character Creation Hour. Last week, I streamed live on Twitch making a character for... Uh, the tabletop role-playing game Dungeons & Dragons because I love the character creation process. And so I think I might do that again uh, today. Um, but I think I might make a character for the new Fate of Cthulhu uh, RPG that's currently in Kickstarter. Anyway, I'll leave it there, and I'll talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes.